What's up guys, Epic Jont was on here, and with the whole pandemic going around, I needed a change. I need something that helps me deal with the weekly stresses of being a homeowner. And let me just show you what I got. I got this tractor lawnmower. And wait till you see what else I got with it. <laughs> but here we go. I'm gonna give you a quick B-roll montage. And so the main reason I got this tractor is if you look behind me, I have all of that grass and all of this grass to cut, as well as maintain the trees and whatever goes on back there. And it's a hill going downhill and, or uphill, whichever way you come. Uh, so this tractor, this lawnmower, utility vehicle is definitely gonna come in handy. Um, and I got it for a steal. So the main reason I got it is these things go for roughly, I think $18.99 at Lowe's. But, let me show you what else I got. I got a snow plow and a utility trailer that goes behind it to lug like whatever, wood, dirt, whatever I need to do in the backyard, drive it around, as well as, you know, whatever I also want to drive. So the model I got is the YTH22V46, um, which some of the specs I've read online, it's got 22 horsepower, uh, it's got a 42 inch deck, which is adjustable by six um, positions. Um, it's really cool, it's got cruise control, it's got cup holders. I've never had a uh, lawnmower quite like this or like a utility vehicle like this. So it should definitely help around the house, especially if I'm like clearing trees or uh, debris or something like that, or move in a flower bed or something like that. Uh, so it'd be really cool. Uh, and then I noticed that these things have halogen headlights and you guys know how I feel about lights. I'm probably gonna try and add a uh, light bar or something or like a, a crash bar to the front where I can hook up the uh, snow plow as well as maybe I'll put one in the rear for the uh, cargo uh, trailer or something like that. Um, so definitely stay tuned. Um, the first thing I'm probably gonna do with this is something maintenance wise. Uh, it's got 50 hours on it. It's a used um, lawnmower or tractor, however you wanna call it, but it is still fairly new. I don't think it's even had an oil change yet. So 50 hours I think is uh, about the limit where you're supposed to do the first oil change. Um, and this is two years old, so uh, the first thing I'm going to probably do is an oil change, but that'll be for a later video. Um, I'm going to make some modifications as I've seen some of the videos in the past. Uh, it gets very messy when you're changing the oil for this thing. Um, so we're, we're definitely going to come at you with some ideas. And so what, one quick thing that um, I noticed straight off the bat is this little deflector here, um, which really doesn't do anything because it's being covered. And I know there are mulching blades on here, so that means the grass just falls right down to the ground and gets mulched right back to the earth. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna try and remove this just to create more space when I'm trying to get it up near corners or up near the edges, or if I'm gonna just remove this plate and actually have it blow out and move somewhere else. But while I have you over here, let's take a look at the engine. Let's pop it open. 
Okay, so to open it, you really just flip off the top here and it exposes the nice uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, motor. Uh, and again, over here, it says 22 horsepower. Uh, first thing I notice here is the dipstick. Uh, the drain plug should be right underneath it. And it's that little yellow thing over there. So we're gonna have to figure out how to access that. And over here, uh, there is the oil filter as well as the fuel filter, um, which probably are very new since it's still only got 50 hours on it. So uh, I'm gonna change it either way, uh, just because uh, I like changing them when I change the oil, but uh, they should fairly be fairly new. Other than that, uh, I'm super excited with this purchase and stay tuned for more videos of me modding my uh, tractor. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.